water covers 71% of the earth, making it the most abundant natural resource by volume. 97% of the Earth's water is salt water in oceans. Only 3% exists as fresh water, readily available for use by humans, animals and for agricultural purposes. Three quarters of this fresh water is found in ice and glaciers, rivers, lakes and atmospheric vapor. The remaining one quarter of the world's fresh water is an aquifer. Man's most economical source of fresh water is groundwater. Groundwater is formed through the hydrologic cycle. This process can take between a few days to thousands of years for a droplet of water to travel the full cycle. Aquifer are a body of saturated rock which contains water and there are two types of aquifer, unconfined aquifer and confined aquifer. Water from shallow wells and boreholes come from unconfined aquifer and they're usually susceptible to contamination due to their closeness to the Earth's surface. Water from industrial boreholes sunk to depths of 80 to 300 meters comes from the confined aquifer where the water is less prone to contamination. The global concern for the depletion of groundwater is real and can be observed in countries like United Arab Emirates, India, China and California in the USA where there is heavy dependence on groundwater for agricultural purposes. In Africa, very little statistics are available, but the increasing use of boreholes and wells by domestic and industrial uses is cause for concern, particularly in cities with a fast-growing population and urbanization like Lagos. Excessive mining of groundwater without adequate replenishment can result in land subsidence and the consequent effect on buildings. A depletion of groundwater resource in an area like Lagos can easily result in irreversible saltwater intrusion into the confined aquifer where the corporation and other industrial miners get a good proportion of their water. Unregulated well and borehole construction can create health hazards which may result in epidemics from groundwater contamination. The importance of water to human life cannot be overstated. Government therefore has a responsibility to guard its exploitation and ensure passing on a healthy water resource to the future generation. As we expand on our mains, we encourage citizens to migrate from borehole to public water supply and avoid the possibility of using contaminated water.